game four fights in the south as the red vermac player you've got kimbo weighing in an astonishing 168 pounds hailing from poland fighting three nil up in this best of seven master league tournament two grand final he's up against in the north uh, up against him, you've got Isildur, and he's locked into his half, and he's a really, really big boy, and scary <laughs> with this doctrine. That happens to be called Recon Support Company. Oh my god, Ed, that's so funny. You got me there, you got me. Got me with the old Ed Tickler. He got me, he got me going, he got me with the Ed Tickler. Then we got the MG42, we got the Ostroop, and Kimbo has saved this commander all tournament long. Don't forget, guys, if you tune in from YouTube, if you're from the future and you just only watch Grand Finals because you're a filthy, filthy casual, I got you guilty as charged, and I know it. Uh, Kimbo was in a predicament where he couldn't use commanders more than once in an entire tournament. All the players were. It's the Commander Terminator, for Christ's sake. You only get to use one per game, and he saved this bad boy. The overwhelming Ostrupan Doctrine, all the way till the very bitter end. He's 3-0 up. He's looking for one more game to win. What does the Silda have to do, Ed? What does he have to do? I think just smash IR Pathfinder's button until, <laughs> until game is won. But no, he, we saw of Airborne just briefly before. He didn't go for Pathfinders. Hasn't gone for them here yet. So he's not going for that super vision cheese that we see oh so much in um, 1v1 auto match where you can start crewing weapons with them and getting that self-spotting MG and uh, AT gun group with Airborne. But uh, instead, he's changed doctrine for Recon Support Company. So it's a bit spammy with the call-ins of M8 Greyhounds. And pack guns will be on high alert, as will MG crews, due to the M83 cluster mines that we should see later on. Ostrupen back in a way, looking for light cover as the riflemen dawn upon them from a weird north-south flip because these are the wrong positions for each of the players but there you go, that's what happens when you're pushing for fuel on early Amelie fields Kimbo's looking low on one of his Ostrupen though he has to be careful, he backs out of there more riflemen joining the fray the remaining Ostrupen squad is joined by a new Ostrupen squad so it's just two against three again Yep, and if everybody in chat can have their webcams working and correct for this <laughs> game, we've got no excuses here in game four Running, running past the bathtub, the Ostrupen now get behind the tractor and they're looking for traction because they got to hold strong against Isilda who's on the rampage. MG42 in the centre, Rifleman looking for the flankerino. Pioneers joining the situation as a grenade is lobbed by Isilda. That is unexpected but it does barely anything. What the hell? That's the futility of US grenades. Sometimes they're godlike and sometimes they're absolutely futile. Well, it does, does distract Kimbo enough to be able to push his MG though, Matt, so in the overall tactical sense, it did some work there, but it's a lot of munitions each time you pop 30 munitions for a nade. As we see, the Benny Hill theme ensues with the MG in the right one south of the mid-VP, if you see it, Matt. I can see it indeed. Oh, the glorious nade! Oh, it could have been worse, they were so clumped, the Ostrup in there. Lot of manpower bleeds, suddenly Isildur winning, hashtag... La 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 insert conspiracy theory here. And just about the MG 42 putting oh, MG duress. Kimbo, is he cracking now? Was it one tilt too far? We'll have to see, but this is great. Early game USF domination from Isidore. I mean he's getting to points and cutting them off that he never even saw before. Yikes. Ostrup and push into the situation. Rifleman watch on strong. The back away. Nice dodge for the grenade there. They split and they keep up the pressure. He's got the 2 2 2 coming out of very similar timing to the previous game. Can it be as effective? But these riflemen this time with the grenades constantly keeping Kimbo guessing are being able to keep the, the Ostrup and dancing, and that takes away their power. MG42 is having to come onto the field with only three crew members in the low health, and they're now being. Attacked at the gates of his base. MG42 tries to hold against the whole USF infantry blob here, and they get naded. They're already taken out. So 63 munitions a minute for Isidore. He can throw two grenades every minute and still be positive in terms of munition count income. But uh, he's drastically grabbed his MG. Nope. 
Oh, gets naded again. Down goes the M2 MG crew, but it's only crewed by Ostrup and it'll be cheap. Can this 2 to 2 make up for lost KD, Ed? Because he's lost a lot of individual squad members so far as Kimbo. But if he gets a vital squad wipe here, he could be right back into things. Could be losing the 2 to 2, though. It's going to get snared, and it's a long way home. Oh, he gets it! it he gets a squad right wipe at the gates! And Jaws of Defeat, having suffered a horrendous KD to start things off, he launches himself with the Spy Hunters Fans Fans Scout Car and gets a great squad wipe there from Kimbo. But he now yeah, is leaving himself have to exposed. Chill those proverbial titties, though, Matt. There's a steward well into the build, and that's going to be able to chase down this 2 2 2. I think for Kimbo, he's desperately got to go fix it. Yep, he's recognized this and got the Pioneers trying to meet it halfway up the map. It's going to be close. <gasps> no, he's, he's putting a telemine down. Yeah, he's not like repairing this. him. He's like going to go for a bait. This is legendary. If he pulls this off, this could be one of the best moves in co competitive. This could be awesome. He's baiting him. He hasn't gone for repairs. Is he going to get spotted, though? We have to get on board. We have to get on board with these. Is he here? He got done. You heard him. It's done. Oh, no. Oh, where's the steward going? Did he hear it through the fog of war? Pioneers just so trying to... So many ifs at the moment, but the Pioneers could go down here. Stuart could just knock them out of the game. But no, another grenade onto the MT-42 crew. Natek is an inspired choice here by Izzy. That MLG Telemine awaits. Let's get eyes on it. But no, the Stuart's going to be aggressive for a while. He's going to keep pushing. Ostrupen come in to threaten him away. Here he goes. Oh, there you go. Oh, my. What a play. What a play by Kimbo. He chose not to repair. He chose to prepare for the assault of the Stuart. And he gets one of the best competitive plays in a grand final. Done there for you go. You got to clip that shit because that was hot. What a play from Kimbo, the 60 year bait paid off. Oh, he's, he's not in the lead yet, but he's got well back into this game. Got to dodge another nade though, it's a straight back <laughs> on the nade, lobbing to the front. And he can utilize so much munitions here. Ripped bars, but uh, nades have been doing a lot of damage early game. 2-2 two two lives, Matt. It does One indeed for up. now. What a play that was, that was awesome. 2-2-2's two, 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 going east side, rear Ashton's forced away by the mere sound profile of them through the fog of war. They go for a Tokyo Drift, they go through the wall. Somehow still alive. Ostrupen going for a cutoff now on the northern side. 2-2-2 two, 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 two pushing the agenda. Izzy is going to be pegged back now without that Stuart. However, he does have well, the option, by the way, yeah. to go for the Greyhound. Yeah, he's got the Stuart light. And uh, Greyhound is... Pretty saucy beast, can be insta-called in as well, no build time, but it is 60 fuel, and uh, combine that with the 70 of the steward, he's going to be a long way behind, but uh, Kimbo's been cut off for so long, Matt. Oh no, this is the snare 2-2-2, two, two, two. this could be a dead 2-2-2 two, two, two now. Yeah, he got a little bit too aggressive with it there, but yeah, there is no follow of the follow steward. That up. Steward's I so far behind. Small arms fire, could just go and do it, but nope. Good dude, Treats Lieutenant's going one. in. Where's the MG42? We've got a pack 40 ready for the Stuart, but we haven't anything. Could be small arms fire if the Lieutenant can get close enough, but he might shred models. Oh no, there's the bazooka. Of course it is. He's now coming for him. Let's get the fog of war shown. Let's see if we can get this finishing blow in. Bazooka round loaded, Ed. Gets him. He's not quick enough, and that is, yep. Like I said, throwing 2 to 2. Not needed there from Kimbo. Didn't get any work with it. Rebuilding of Stuart from Whistleblower. Oh dear. Plot intensifies. Pioneer looking low. Kimbo, you, are you watching? He's lost the flamethrower there. And Lieutenant's now become an urban assault lieutenant. MG42 looking low in the center. He gets grenaded yet again. Never any veterancy for that MG. <laughs> but it's soaking up a lot of nade meanies, at least. And this uh, little won't have the same kind of munition control that he did have earlier forever. Another 2 2 build for Kimba. I like this choice. A lot cheaper rebuy than the US counterpart. Yeah, he's and, trading. And hopefully, up. he doesn't throw this one into the enemy's base for no reason. No, but, it was uh, giving him the aggression he needs, you know, and the reconnaissance as well. He's got two good support weapons played well at the moment, and they rely on vision. So, uh, yeah, it's not a bad option. MG, however. Sorry, the uh, grenade, however, of the rifleman catches the pack 40 on the fly there. But look at this on the eastern side. 2-2-2's going on on the killing mission. Can any uh, sharp-eyed rank 5,000 private detectives in chat 
Tell us how the ambulance got half HP up. <laughs> yeah, it was that 2 2 the one that died. It had a few ambulance shots in. Ah, okay. So I don't need any to rank 2000, just me, the rank 600. You just owned up to being ranked 5000, man. <laughs> Stewart's coming in. Pack 40's backing away. And the Stewart takes out the 2 to 2 as the Pack 40 is decrewed. Pioneers are trying to get it, but a bit of his own medicine this time. The very same block on the very same road Kimbo employed in game 3. Isilda is now doing, keeping him from his own pack. Oh dear. Yeah, Kimbo not able to go over with the Austria because he has to recruit the MG42 that's been decrewed for the 19th time in 10 minutes. And yep, that's a pack 40 now pick up for Isildur. Oh, looking rough now for Kimbo. That second steward choice looking a bit better for Isildur. He's still going to be able to push through to tier 3 pretty quick. Whereas Kimbo, yeah, he's a mile off. Doesn't even have the uh, battle phase 2 yet. Such has been the cutoff play from Isildur in the early game. And is this the comeback the Brit needed, Matt? He was yeah, looking so in game 4, but here... In the replay full of clarity for YouTube viewers. There was a, a very... It was meant to be a quick restart. There was a camera fail. I don't even know which player's camera fail, by the way, so conspiracy is abundant. But there was a camera fail. Refs tried to do a quick restart. The players didn't quite see it. It went on for a, a 10... 10, a, 10 to, was it 12 minutes of game four happened, and now it's rehappening. And the thing I have to point out at this point is... Although these things do happen, referees need to call restarts, especially in the early... Like, I think Sturm Tiger Gaddafi said he did it in the first minute. But anyway, the point being is Kimbo has been knocked off his rhythm, perhaps. Or Isilda has had a chance to regroup Ed and has had a fresh chance to regain some semblance of rhythm. Because he certainly wasn't working out there. And after a ref stoppage of, of you know, a justified one. Bundle made on retreat from Kimbo. Couldn't get it. The grouping didn't work for him. Um, it I looks like Isilda's having a better start. Kimbo, he has to get himself up for another big performance. And, uh, yeah... He's dodging nades on the, by the minute at the moment here. This is almost relentless with his nade throw. Kimbo unable to finish off his telemine that he was planting. So there is. This will go Stuart coming in. Strength. All kills and counting from the Stuart looking for those. Panzer Grenadiers very low on health. Right in the bundle Imperial lane they were. Oh! Oh dear. I was going to say Imperial Dane will be raging at the lack of tech up. But at the moment for Kimbo, he's losing those vital minutes of a timing window of a P4 coming. There we go, we've got 50 cal on the eastern side, Ostrup and behind, heavy cover. The Stuarts looking to join them. Pack 40, by the way, for Silver, don't forget, is destroying cover, so a little bit less of it. And this Ostrup has got a very difficult path home. They're getting eviscerated. Yeah, two stolen support weapons could be the tale of the story of this battle. So with an MG42 and a Pack 40 being owned by the USF forces currently, it doesn't look good for Kimbo. And Ostrupen, as we all know, get into the mid and late game, they fall off the cliff of uh, productivity. And it's going to need a big carry from the t gun server. He is, he's going to need the P-Grens. Kimbo is an expert with bundle nades of the P-Grens, don't forget. Mm. Amelie Fields is a cracking map for flanking. You can always get around the back and uh, get the bundle nade stack off in your opponent's face. Oh, there's a good shot by the Pack 40. And a Faust. This could be a very dead Stuart. Let's get on board with the Fog of War. We don't need it. Stuart's already asunder. That all comes from Kimbo's soft retreat there with the MG42. Baiting that rifleman and Stuart in. And then BAM! Turned on him with the Ostrupen, got the Faust off with the pack gun coming around the blind corner. Expert play there for Kimbo. Panzer Grenadier has been backed up by the Lieutenant and Rifleman. They're now behind the haystack. Meanwhile, we got a 50 cal that was attempted to be flanked, but the rear echelons had their back. On the eastern side, Pioneers are starting to cap up. This game is frantic and frenetic. Panzer Grenadiers are looking under duress, but they get away with both models intact. And 50 cal push it up on the left-hand side. That's going to be the munitions taken away from Kimbo. Something also needed for Austria forces. And uh, we're looking like a 30-odd fuel away from a P4 now. It's finally teched up. It needs to get that... Uh, Tier 3 structure up though does Kimbo. It'll cost vital seconds. 
he doesn't have much time if he's gonna triple cap or double cap. He's gonna ensue. He's gonna get it. Well, exactly. The mage is out for his and He's got a similar slog, but uh, as you were mentioning, we do have. No, he hasn't got it built yet, has he? I suppose you were saying that. Sorry, I was momentarily distracted. No uh, Telemine. Oh, it's S mine looking likely for the munitions, but the riflemen are just in time to spot it. Gonna get some sneaky shots off on the uh, building squad there. It's been good sweeping as well from the Sibir. He's been very active with his rear echelons. Met two, by the way, with a sweeper. That's it's quite hard to get this early in the game. And uh, yeah, they've definitely done a good job. Eastern VP still has some S minefields ladled all around it. As Isildur, given Kimbo a bit of a taste of his own medicine there. Big rifle blob on the retreat path of the pioneers. Will they make it? Just about Ooh, yeah. shot no scattering time. all around them. Reminded me of that uh, World War One film from last year. Where it's just guys running from bullets for two hours of footage. <laughs> what was it called? 1917. That was it. Um, MG42 uh, yeah. fires incendiary rounds down at all of Izzy's forces, forcing them all away. Yes, yeah, the laser. Laser beam ammo gets employed by Kimbo from the MG42. Is he going to stay in the mid VP for the cap? Yes, he is. He's one crawling model. <laughs> Whilst holding. Ah, oh, little bit of jiggle peek there as well from the squad. Nice, nice to see. He's showing off now, that APM. He certainly is. We've got uh, Ostrupen, by the way, chilling out, skulking away, and uh, Pack 40 looking to cap the victory point. We do have Izzy's forces resurgent and a good amount of veterancy as well. Let's triple check the KDs, showing attack. that it's 98 kills to 48. Uh, that's, that's quite hefty. But it's against Ostrupen, of course. Yeah, and as you see, AT gun, a piece now. Rebuilt from Kimbo. Did work in taking out that steward, but it's under heavy duress. A rifleman and a lieutenant. It's looking rough for Kimbo's AT squad. P Gun's coming to try and sort out the mess. Oh, and a great save there from the MP42. Good combination of players. Oh, like, yeah. Loses the pack group, but is, he's secured the position enough just to recruit the Pioneers. Lieutenant repositions behind the wheelbarrow. Panzer Grenadiers push in. West side, Ostrupen being advanced upon by the riflemen. It's all going down right now. Izzy's trying to hold firm. He's got the 50 cals joining up in the center. Lieutenant being pursued. Another Ostrup and trying to retreat back on one HP, they make it. Yep, and you can't spell win. Oh, I've ruined it. You can't spell Ostwind without win, I was going to say. So. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot indeed. And uh, you can't spell Ostwind without winded as well. There's lots of words you can't spell with Ostwind, but one thing it certainly spells as possible doom for Isilda because this thing is relatively uncontested if it can keep away from the stolen pack 40. I was going to say relatively uncontested, I forgot he stole a bloody pack 40, so it has got some contestation on the field. And a bet to MG42 crew. This was the chosen Ostrupen crew that survived. About 20 crews died before with all the nades on this ball. And despite his high munis count now, I think he's saving it up for those butter babushkis. 110 munitions for those bad boys. And uh, he's saving on BARs until he drops in that. As the Sherman's in the build, Matt, this could be the trump card for Isidore's comeback. Could possibly be. And the MG42 is repositioning on the western side to get that fuel. Eastern side volley fires active as the Ostrup and watch on. They're joined by their brethren. We've got arm, medium armor coming onto the field. We've got double packs on the field, but one for each team. are securing our territory. Yeah, there's just been some next level little plays. You know, you saw the teller early and the mind games of fake uh, soft retreating the MG crew and the Ostrupid to get the snail to kill the second steward. Those little differences, Matt, is is between, you know, Kimbo winning tourneys and uh, just another auto match in the sweat board. Absolutely. It's all the difference it makes. Those sm small things when you look at them, but they all cascade, they all add up, and it's what makes a great player a tournament champion. Oswind pursuing here the Vet 3 lieutenants as the Panzer Grenadiers do the same, getting that coordinated bonus. Kimbo, please, the Dane, uh, the Dane Gishud's gods. 
by getting a Stuart goal, will he save? Oh, he's got 33 fuel a minute now. He's probably going to save all the way for P4s. Loki ignoring VPs and just going straight for field presence and unit punishment at the moment as he bundle nades the 50 car and gets hella low. Forget as well, he's he's getting very close to Schwer uh -oh. Gustav. West Good flag bombs on the West western flag. side. Oh dear, oh dear, that MG's in. Nope. Oh. Yes, it is. There's the veterancy gone. And the riflemen are hot in pursuit. Look like shark smelling blood. They want that. They want it badly. Meanwhile, the then Shermans. Then you go and ruin it all by dropping something OP like Butterball. <laughs> oh, and the Austrian thing loses his squad as well. well he does like indeed. And grenades in on, on it as well. Osfin's watching on, but the Pack 40's presence. Pioneers get in the way. But here comes the railway artillery. First shells on target, and then the second two. The second one and the third one oh, will be it's off. the low troop and cannon. Railway artillery. Oh, oh what deep crew, by the way. He does, as Pack riflemen, crew. they're retreating through it, Ed. And they're oh, obliterated oh, on Amelie Field. Sherman now in a position to possibly take out the Osfins. He's trying to get out of there. Where's that third shell, Ed? Way off kilter as the Osfind is obliterated as well. German, that one. Pack crew finally getting out of there after hearing three huge howitzer shells come down. Yeah, Kimbo had a bit of a chance there, a bit of success. Oh! Pit Pack's got this uh, Sherman. Looking for an Os. Troop and Panzerfaust as well, but Kimbo decided to throw in the towel. He's chalked up this game to a bit of bad luck. Little bit of um, stalling at the start as well, having to restart. But fair play to him. He got an excellent Taller off, and uh, he's going to look fresh to come into game five of this series as we head on to Fame and Villa Pro. In a world without variety, brutality is the only strategy. The Master League presents a tournament format sent to end the reign of Meta. This is the Commander Terminator. Stabilizing. He was. It's a shame. I've got. We've got the full sit rep of the situation, by the way. Now, so it's re, uh, cracking ref. We have got a really good team out there. Um, the ref watching Kimbo. The camera died, and Kimbo's handling it really well. His camera died. They tried to message both players in the first couple of minutes of the game, um, and they did get the message out, but they've gone on for ten minutes. And and you have to say the, these rules are known to all players, you know. And it's it's one of those things. The game was restarted. Um, but it's just one of those things. And Kimbo's now apparently restarted his entire setup. He's making a genuine effort to ensure that it works. He's respecting the rules. Nothing, no shenanigans going on. A lot of the play, the fan, a lot of the referees are fans of Kimbo Mad Slice, for example. You know, we've recruited a, an even split across the community of people from multiple nations and multiple clans, multiple walks of life. And we've done it for a reason, so we can offer every single player that signs up for the Master League a fair opportunity to play. Um... So yeah, it's it's all good. Uh, it's just one of those things. Game four was a restart, and unfortunately for Kimbo, it didn't go his way. Let's hope for him. He has got a really good lead, 3-1 still. He's still one game away from ultimate victory. 